Hello everyone and welcome to MeditativeTutorials.org. Today I'm going to go over in detail of how to use the Fibonacci tool and more specifically how to change the properties within the Fibonacci tool to show the actual price levels rather than seeing the relative percentage differences or, di or, or uh, levels sorry, within the Fibonacci tool. So we'll go through the A, B, and C, A, B, C, and D's of, uh, of the Fibonacci tool as well as the coding. So let's start off here. I'm going to go and choose the Fibonacci tool right here. And guys, we always start with the B point and then work our ways down to the A point. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'll show you exactly here. So let's start off here with a swing high, which is be the B. In this case, we anticipate the market's going up and down to the A point. All right, so let me just move this over. As you know in Fibonacci, we, so this is going to be our A point right here. Our B is the swing high, anticipating the market's going to move up. Our C is the retracement, back down. And D is the completion of the Fibonacci sequence that we anticipate, typically at the 161.8, which was right about here, somewhere up here. Okay, so as you can see, on the right-hand side, after I've drawn the Fibonacci line study, you can see the different percentage mark markings here on the tool. Now, however, I know a lot of people, they have strategies associated with using Fibonacci. As an example, you may put your take profit at the 161.8 level, uh, but you, some people might put it about 10 to 15, maybe even 20 pips below that point, just in case the market goes close to it, but then there's a retracement. So uh, it's a safety measure, so to speak. So right now, if I want to place an order, I'm going to actually have to go to this point. I may even use my crosshairs. And there we go, row 1618. And here I can see in the side what the price point is. Wouldn't it be nice to actually have, at these different levels, actually have the price point, sorry, the price point show at, uh, at the retracements as well as the extension. Well, it can, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So, on the Fibonacci tool right here, you see this dotted red line. Let's click it, double click it to activate it with the left mouse click. Then you right click, go to Fibo Properties, and here is where we actually change the coding. Very simple to do, and I'll show you. I'll walk through it very quickly. I like putting an at symbol. It doesn't affect the coding at all. It just helps to make it clear for me. I put uh, percent dollar sign. I'll just show you that and I'll just show you what it looks like right now and then I'll complete the rest of them in a second. I hit OK. Bam, here we go. At the A point, we can see it actually tells me what the price is at this particular line level. Very nice to have. So let me just quickly do it at uh, the major points. I'll whip right through this. And you can see exactly just how easy it is to do. We'll just do uh, these two. Whoops. And at the 618. Here we go, folks. Check it out. Look at that. At each level of Fibonacci, we actually see the price point, so it'll make it a lot easier in order to place your trades. Hope you guys found this useful, and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them on the blog. And if you have any other suggestions, love to hear it, and we can do more videos in the future.